Hey, we're out on date night. We are. And we're talking to you <laughs> <laughs> on our date. Lucky you. <laughs> Luckily, it's not our anniversary where we had to do another filming thing like three times. Oh my god. I'm not doing that again. No, we have to talk about it. So we are going to tell you how to order food when you're out in a restaurant. We're going to tell you. <laughs> We're going to offer some advice. Maybe we should soften that. I'm going to tell you what to order. <laughs> that is just like no nonsense. <laughs> Do this, not that. I'll soften things with my soft skills. <laughs> so number one, to choose a restaurant. Oh, <laughs> I'm jumping to number two. That has good food. Outstanding. Preferably well water, not city water. Otherwise, you got to order bottled water, like San Pellegrino. Perhaps a menu that's a winter menu. So we're here in Amory, Wisconsin. We're about, how far from the Twin Cities are we? An hour? Yeah, probably an hour and 15 minutes, actually. So we're an hour east of the Twin Cities in Wisconsin. And Farm Table was just brought to our attention, like literally a couple days ago. Yeah. And it's in the middle of nowhere, essentially. There's a really cool yoga studio next door. And they they've- got cooking classes. They've got cooking door. classes, but they've got a winter menu. So when you look for a, for a restaurant to eat at, A, good water, B, something that you don't have to drive forever to get to, and C... <laughs> we kind of did. <laughs> no, we didn't have to. We only drove for 30 minutes. We drove for like 40 minutes. And we didn't even have to go into the city and rush our travel. Right. So the next thing, of course, is local food. Right. So show that piece of the menu. Everything here that they can source is within 40 miles. So check this out. Okay, so this says 80% of the produce and protein served here are sourced within 40 miles. So we've got we've got local pickled eggs and vegetables with bacon. What's this one? This is the local pickle plate and cheese. Okay. So we got a pickle plate, we got eggs, and we've got grass-fed local meat. They had goat and it's all out. So disappointed in the smoked goat being out. What's this? Because I'm disappointed the last time I had it was at Zingerman's Roadhouse in Michigan. It's world famous roadhouse. Yeah. It's owned by some Jewish people that came from New York City. They own a deli in New York City and they opened a Jewish deli in the middle of Michigan and it blew up. It's huge. And oh, they, they met like it actually blew up. No, it, it got it got <laughs> world famous. People come from all over the world oh to go to Zingerman's. Cool. And they do smoked goat. Oh. Pit barbecue smoked goat. So is this what you do when you're disappointed? It is right now. <laughs> That's very weird so, Okay, so what do they have to know? What do they have to order? Uh, so, okay, so with water, we order soda water, either from San Pellegrino or Perrier, but if they don't have that, then you can order it off the gun. So the water off the gun, if you're in the city, it's going to be filtered. The tap water, the regular water that's not fizzy, doesn't go through the gun, it's not filtered. Full of chlorine, fluoride. Uh, this is still full of fluoride if it were from city water. The, the filter is going to take out the chlorine and the sediment, but it's not going to take out the fluoride. So the key here is we're in Amory, Wisconsin, so this is well water. So we don't have any fluoride in here. Now, the other thing that we're doing is we've got lemon in the water. So the, the thing about lemon is all of us are living under these chemtrails. So aluminum particles in the air, aluminum particles in the vaccines that they're giving everyone. We're aluminum toxic, aluminum in our uh, deodorants. Oh, yeah. I mean, not in our deodorants, because we don't use that stuff. Like, no, no. <laughs> but most people are aluminum toxic, and lemon is a good <laughs> way to detox oh. aluminum from the brain. Sweet. It also de uh, neutralizes your stomach acid before you eat. <laughs> it's acidic. So it shouldn't neutralize your stomach acid. Yeah, but it, it does something to your stomach lining to like protect it. That's why they always serve with fish. I didn't know. There's a bacteria and it'll like kill the bacteria. Because of the acid. Yes, because of the acid. <laughs> but I think it's like that, isn't it like that thing with um, apple cider vinegar? It's acidic, but it kind of alkalines in your body. Right, it doesn't neutralize your stomach acid, but it becomes alkaline in your blood. Okay. So oh, in your blood. Okay, well, that's right. You don't want you don't want alkaline things in your stomach. Okay. Because you need acid there. Otherwise, people get digestive problems and heartburn. That's what I meant. It makes your stomach acid acidic. And the heartburn <laughs> is usually not too much acid. It's not enough. Not enough. So no. people need to take digestive enzymes with hydrochloric acid. I'm not saying they need to. That might help most people that have heartburn is to take digestive enzymes and hydrochloric acid, not antacids. Okay. Okay, so water. Make sure you get water that's clean and not full of fluoride and, and 
chlorine because the chlorine mixes with pharmaceutical compounds that people flush down the toilet and then when they mix they become carcinogenic and you just drink it. Nobody gets rid of that in their drinking water, no city does that. Right. So this is all like actually how to hack your daylight. Really or how to order when you're out. Or how to Heck, your date night sounds better. You, <laughs> not everyone's going out on a date. Some people just eat out. That's true. So take it for <laughs> however you want. All right, so we ordered. So it's winter. When we're out, we compromise sometimes, depending on where we're at. So yeah. we fasted for 24 hours this week. And typically in the winter, we're going to be doing ketogenic diet, sometimes carnivore. Um, but basically after Thanksgiving, it's all ketogenic, whether it's carnivore or keto. Wait, you eat five pies before Thanksgiving? But not after. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to bring that up, because it's funny. So, that just gets very serious. I do, because I'm giving information <laughs> I like thinking. Okay. So we've got uh, bacon, eggs, and vegetables. So, And we've got some cheese, which sometimes we wouldn't compromise and actually do dairy this time we are. Okay. But usually, I think it's been almost a month since I've had dairy. Really? Dice is addicted to cheese. It's my addiction. It is. You've so been really good. good. Here, I've actually been impressed. Been What's my addiction? I don't know. Poppy. Oh, yeah. Poppy. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't remember. <laughs> oh, my God. So, so you want to have ketogenic foods because it's winter. So when you eat out, you know, we ordered food from the menu. We ordered food from the menu? And Well, you can order food off the menu. We ordered food from the menu. So you can order food that's not on the menu. So what we did is there's sandwiches, there's burgers, and there's main dishes, but a lot of it has bread or something like rolls or buns or whatever, right? So Pass on that. do away with that. Even if it was gluten-free, it's winter, so we're not doing that. No great. If it was gluten-free in the summer, we might eat the buns. But ketogenic, so we order the a burger, we order a sandwich, but we get a no bun. What about wine? Let's move on. All right. Ordered Melbeck from so, the mountains. So there's one thing with wine and there's one thing with alcohol, depending if you're hard alcohol or wine, right? So Wait, is it wine can you keep it done? It can be. Okay. If you don't drink too many glasses of it. <laughs> <laughs> drink one. So dry farm wine actually yeah. tests their wine to be less than one gram of residual sugars. So super ketogenic. We don't know the residual sugars here, but typically when you get a drier wine, it's gonna be less sugar. Mm -hmm. So you want to order a drier wine. Okay. You don't you do not want to order a US wine. The U.S. wines are going to be full of glyphosate or Roundup, which is carcinogenic. What if they're organic? It doesn't matter. Really? It's in the water. Uh, it's in the water in the U.S. They spray over the fields and it contaminates the organic fields. That's the unfortunate thing with U.S. organic is you still can get glyphosate on U.S. organic because we use that stuff everywhere. So the organic producers can't use it, but they get overspray. They get water that has glyphosate in it. Really bad. So you want to order your wines from outside the U.S. where they can't use glyphosate, especially Europe. So Europe is not allowed to use glyphosate, it's illegal. So you, for European wines are not gonna have glyphosate and often they're gonna be less mycotoxins, less, less full of mycotoxins than American wines. That's mold. Molds that can affect people and give them hangovers. And if so, possible- wait, sugar, um, sulfates, mold. So all wine has sulfates. So if you want to avoid sulfates, don't drink wine. But I thought there's some that were lower. Sulfites, they all have sulfite. So if you really are, are sensitive to sulfite, you can't drink wine. I thought some people think that that gives them the headache. They think but they do. They, but it's actually the sugar, right? Contact Mycotoxins, the sugar, and the alcohol. Okay. So that's why. Give me the alcohol. So that's why we're gonna do activated charcoal right. to reduce hangover, to reduce the toxins that could be in the wine or in the food. You know, um, but the activated charcoal is gonna help with all that. So this is a Malbec. It's the old Malbec. Uh, it's from the, where the Mendoza. Mendoza. <laughs> so Mendoza region of Argentina, Argentina are the mountains. The higher in the mountains, the lower the deuterium. The higher the altitude. Yep. And the higher in the mountains, the higher the polyphenol, the plant compounds, and the antioxidants in the wine, including the resveratrol, because you have more ultraviolet light higher in the mountains, so the grape has to protect itself and create antioxidants to protect itself. You get to drink those. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? It's awesome. You're such a wealth of information. It's so cool. Then if you're going to order hard hard alcohol, okay. you want the lowest sugar. So they always say, I think it's called the NorCal margarita. I was say tequila. So it's basically tequila yeah. with lime juice and salt. Because tequila is from agave? No. It's from agave. Agave, okay. 
it doesn't matter where it's from. It matters the residual sugars and the spike in blood sugar you're going to get from it. Okay. And tequila has the lowest blood sugar spike and the lowest yeah. sugar. And then if you just add lime juice with no sugar, limes and lemons. No simple syrup. <laughs> limes and lemons are going to have the lowest sugar content of any fruit. And then salt. So when you're ketogenic, you should be having extra salt anyway. Okay. So there you go. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I'm learning so much. <laughs> Okay, I need to take some charcoal. Are you still filming? All right, Daddy, just want to dial in some charcoal here. Do you want one? I'll take one. Okay. Thank you. So we take charcoal like when we eat out at restaurants and if we drink alcohol. Absolutely. And if we travel, it helps with jet lag. And so we're going to have a whole video just on charcoal. So look for that one. Yep. It's magical. Activated charcoal. It's like the black hole of supplements. That's my thing. You, can't... you do that in the charcoal episode. I'm doing it in the food episode. <laughs> okay. All right. So when you're also, when you're looking at these menus when you're out, side dishes, everything else, you want to look for higher fat and you want to ask about, do they use butter or are they using canola oil and are they using margarine? So when they cook your food, you want it cooked in real butter. You can get a side of real butter to pour over your food and add extra fat if you're ketogenic. You just don't want the canola oil. You don't want the vegetable the oils. So sunflower oil is still a vegetable oil. All, all vegetable oils are going to be toxic and rancid by the time you get them. Sunflower is more local, and it has less toxic oxidation products than like canola and soy, okay. but it still has them. Okay. All vegetable oil, except coconut oil. Coconut is really a nut oil. Yeah. And olive oil is also um, from a different region. It's not really the same as a vegetable seed oil. So, like, so it's, not a poly <laughs> it's not a polyunsaturated fat, it's a monounsaturated yeah. fat. So it doesn't go toxic and rancid as long as you get extra virgin. As long as you don't heat it up, as long as you get extra virgin, okay. as long as it was packaged in an opaque, non see through container, right. as long as it was produced under low heat. I mean, there's a lot of things that have to go on with getting good olive oil. So, good olive oil, coconut oil, ghee, butter, um, what are we thinking of for uh, saturated fat? Pork fat, tallow, bacon fat, all those things, totally fine. They don't get rancid or toxic very quickly at all. So, stick to those and stick to dishes that are going to be local food. So, here, they've got local grass-fed beef. They've got local pork. I had a local goat, but it's all eaten. <laughs> I'm still upset about the goat. I had a local goat. <laughs> I have to get another goat in Poor it. Poor guy. I love goats. <laughs> <laughs> and I like to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> what? But if it was a pet, I would not eat it. Oh, this, this that's goat, good to this know. This goat, I didn't know. <laughs> and unfortunately, he was already eaten. The things you don't know. All about right. somebody. <laughs> and then and then stick with, you know, your green salads and vegetables with just butter on them. And if you get salad dressing, olive oil, vinegar, right. not soy and canola. Who uses soy? Insane. Everybody in their olive, in their uh, salad dressing. So yeah. beware of that. All right? What else what else do they need? Anything? Lighting? Um, this is not ideal because yeah. we got a super bright light, so we're wearing blue blue light blocking glasses to protect ourselves from the light because it's after dark. Ideally, we're not going to eat once it's dark. Tonight's an exception because we're filming for all of you. I want to actually eat this. I'm getting pretty hungry. <laughs> I noticed that you're watching our food. <laughs> Let's eat. Okay. Let's